rigid body and its center of mass. Let us understand what is a rigid body with the help of this activity. Take an iron bar with a cavity. Suspend it from a nail and oscillate it in a vertical plane. You can observe that all the particles move through the same angle. You will notice that in the figure, if P and Q are any two points moving above the point O, then angle PO P dash is equal to angle QO Q dash. Now P dash and Q dash are the new positions of P and Q when the body is oscillating. The relative positions of P and Q under the action of external forces remain the same. This type of body where the constituent particles of a body retain the relative positions with respect to one another even under the action of external forces is called a rigid body. A rigid body can possess both rotational as well as translational motion. Center of a mass of a rigid body. Consider a rigid body with a large number of closely packed point masses, delta m1, delta m2, up to delta mn, and with r1, r2, up to rn as their position vectors. Let us get an expression for center of mass of the rigid body assuming that there is a uniform distribution of mass of the body. Let RCM be the position vector of the center of mass. RCM is given by the relation RCM is equal to sigma delta mi ri by sigma delta mi. If the masses of the elements considered are infinitesimally small, replace delta mi by dm. If the number of such masses is infinite, then the equation for position vector of center of mass becomes RCM is equal to integral RDM by dm. Since integral dm gives the total mass of the body m, equation can be represented as RCM is equal to 1 by m integral RDM. Remember, for a homogeneous body, the center of mass will always lie on a point or a line or in the plane of symmetry. For example, for a sphere, the center of mass is located at its center and for a cone, it will lie on its axis. The table gives the center of mass for a few rigid bodies. Go through it.